baby got a haircut y'all she looks so cute why this is my little baby she looks so cute i took her to the groomers the other day and oh my gosh say i got some tea i got some peppermint tea Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tina J, the lovely Tina J, and I'm here to do my very first story time on my channel. And I'm a little nervous because I got a lot of tea to spill. Like I feel like I'm 26 now. I've like I've 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 lived. Okay, I've lived enough to have experiences and crazy experiences to share with people and my hair is super cute like i did my hair so freaking cute this is gonna be the time where my ex um cheated on me pretty much like and it's not even the fact that he cheated it's not even the fact that he cheated it's just how he confessed it to me okay so i'm gonna get right into this video. oh also uh before i forget welcome back to my channel it's your girl tina j the lovely tina j okay and if you're new to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button and give this video a like and if you're returning welcome back so we got our hot peppermint tea and it's piping hot baby the tea is piping hot um yeah that's hot I don't have any wine or anything and so we're just sipping on some peppermint tea you know um it's christmas time so we're getting a little festive festive so peppermint tea is i got my pillow right here just like something to like lean on i don't know my hair is mad cute my hair is so freaking cute. Just to give y'all like a background of me and my ex. Because I don't want to go deep, 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 girl. <laughs> I don't want to go deep, deep, deep into it. Because I'm so over this situation. But I just find it funny how in theatrical. The way he confessed to me that he cheated. So I um. I'm not going to give y'all like a rundown of. The relationship. I'll just be more specific, but just to give y'all like a little backdrop. We had originally met at work. We used to work together like in high school. And then you know how you rekindle with somebody after high school and you know y'all kick it and you know one thing just leads to another. And then he actually like courted me. Like I'm not here to bash nobody, okay? But he courted me. He did court me and my hair is just ashy. Hold on. He courted me. We went out on days. It was cool. Like it was cool and then he asked me to be his girlfriend so i was like why not we already dated i'm not seeing anyone else i'm interested in only being with you so why not we got together we was together and mind you we got together last june we got together june of like what's this year 2022 we got together june of 2021 so he confessed to me we got together june 2021 he confessed to me that he cheated on me actually around this time last year like around thanksgiving okay so we was together for a year he confessed that he cheated on me like i said last thanksgiving literally 2021 last thanksgiving and um just to give y'all a little background before that before i get into what happened 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 i remember like because my birthday is in august august september october november it was like around my birthday or a little after my birthday no, it was a little after my birthday because, yeah, it was after my birthday. It was, like, September. I remember telling him, like, you not, you, you not, you not here. You not here. Like, I remember telling him, like, I just noticed you just not affectionate with me like you used to be. Like, you know how when you dated somebody and... They try their best to impress you or catch you, and then it's like they don't keep it up. Or you just can tell when you're dating somebody, like when someone is starting to get detached. And that's what I was feeling from him. I was feeling like he was becoming detached. He was not affectionate with me anymore. He just, I don't know. He just like wasn't affectionate. He wasn't touchy feely like he used to be. And. I just started to notice like a change, like a change of behavior, a change. Look at me. It was 
like and I know this, okay? And I feel like it's so important when you're dealing with somebody to communicate. Even if it's like the slightest, you know, the slightest, slightest. I feel like it's so important to communicate in your relationship or in your friendships. You know, communication, I feel like it's just very important. So, I confessed that to him like around September, right? So, fast forward. Mind you, this happened in 2021, Okay, so fast forward, boom, Thanksgiving come around, right? It's Thanksgiving. This one, this one a tea star, girl. This one a tea star. Let me sip a little tea, girl. Mmm. <laughs> so hot. Mmm. This is when the tea started. Okay, so... Mind you, before that, I've never had any suspicions of him cheating. Like, you know what, bitch? Yes, I did. But he lied about it. Like, he lied. He blatantly lied about it. Um, There was an incident before that. Some girl, mind you. Okay, okay, I'm getting off track. But I said that I didn't know. I didn't have any... I didn't even think to even think he was cheating until this one time he was over here and some dark skin emoji girl called his phone. Dark skin emoji girl. Mind you, my ex-boyfriend had female friends, okay? I don't really agree with female friends. I don't like it. I find it very weird when dudes have female friends. No, we say that for high school, baby. A female friend? No, you, you, you already got to deal with me. So the fact that you got put up with another chick, friendly, like, no, I don't want you, I don't want her going to you about her problems. No, that's, that's my job. So I never was in agreement with him having female friends, but however, he has had these best friends that were females and they kicked it with him and his dudes and they all went to high school together. So I was just like, okay, whatever. And, you know, I met them. But I remember one time this girl, this dark skin girl emoji, dark skin girl emoji i'm like what friends is you're not your friends dark skin really and he lied and said that was one of his friends that called him and it's so crazy because i just really brushed it off like i didn't think nothing of it and that's what i'm saying like that female friend stuff mothers be trying to hide behind it i don't like it i don't like it but anywho fast forward to thanksgiving right this is when all of it happened so his friend, his best friend, decided to throw a Thanksgiving, no, a friend's giving at his apartment, right? All of his best friends is there. Um, thank God none of his friend girls was there because, I don't know. But none of his, uh, all his friends was there. I mean, it was his friend's Thanksgiving. And on top of that, um... My cousin, my cousin and my friend, they were dating at the time. So I had invited them to. So they was there that night, which is so crazy. They was actually there that night, which is so crazy. I think they left early though. But anywho, they was there. So my best friend and my cousin was there. And me and my cousin pulled up. Me and my cousin my best friend, we all pulled up at the same time. So he was already there. Girl, I get there. He drunk, honey. Drunk. He wasn't. He wasn't drunk, mind you. I'm the one to get drunk. Okay, I'm the one. When it came to our relationship, I was the one who overly drank. I was the one who, yeah, she better drink and she better get drunk. And my nigga just gonna take care of me. Period. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, yeah. So when when I pulled up. And he was like livid. He was like lit. I was like, oh, y'all got my dude over here drunk, honey. Like lit. He was just lit. He wasn't that. And he had drove, mind you. He drove because I met him there. He, so he had drove that night. And I mean, we was all having a good time. We was playing games. We was getting litty. We was getting baked. We was getting fried. We was. It was having a good time. It was actually a good time. Let me drink some more of my tea. All of a sudden, he goes to the bathroom, okay? 
He goes to the bathroom. He in the bathroom for like 20 minutes. You know? You know, it's one thing to be doing number two. But it's like, what you in there doing? So, I went in there. Girl, he is over the toilet, baby, throwing up. Mind you, I've never seen him like that. Like, he doesn't get drunk like that. I'm the one that gets drunk, okay? I'm the one that shows how I get drunk. So, you know, I'm just sitting here like, you know, trying to make him feel better, rubbing his back. He's throwing up like, like, baby, throwing up. Like, he was pissy drunk like he was drunk i mean we all been drunk before i'm not here to bash somebody for being drunk we all been drunk before but he was like drunk he was drunk he was drunk and he was throwing up in a toilet he was in the bathroom i was in the bathroom with him for like 35 minutes like i was going in and out like he was throwing a bath and i just remember like rubbing his back and just you know just trying to make sure he okay uh, taking him water and stuff, you know, just just trying to be the good girlfriend I am, you know, so And Lord and behold, he started talking Like randomly like randomly and he was just like Oh, I don't he was like, oh, I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I be doing this to you You told me he started bringing up what I told him two months ago about how he wasn't being affectionate with me anymore And how he kind of like it feel like he checked out or like he just wasn't like Catering to me, I guess like He just started like saying that he was just like um I'm trying to remember. I can't remember verbatim, but it was just like giving. He was about to start confessing something like he was just like, oh, like you do me so right. Like you were just the best girlfriend ever. And I'm not even like. I'm not even like. Making up like I'm not I'm not I would never make it up, but he he was just start confessing It was so random and it was just like what are you talking about? Like he was like What was he saying y'all cuz that night was just crazy and so he Was just like you a good girlfriend. I don't know like Why I would do that to you and I don't know like why I would do that and like I just can't hold this back from you I just feel like a real bad person and I was just like boy what are you talking about and he was just like I just feel so bad I just feel like a bad person and you are the, like the best girlfriend and I'm just like I just feel like a bad person and I just have to tell you that I cheated on you <laughs> what Why wasn't I mad? And I and after a while, that's what made me mad. The fact that I didn't get mad. The fact that I wasn't upset. The fact that I didn't react in a way. And I think what what held me back was he was so drunk. He was just he was like literally hung over the toilet, like sitting on the floor, hung over the toilet, like throwing up. And he was just like I don't know why I would do this to you. I cheated on And I'm just like, what? Like, what? <laughs> this can't be life right now. <laughs> like, this can't be real. This, can somebody pinch me? This can't be happening right now. He literally confessed to me sitting over the toilet, throwing up, drunk, that he cheated on me. And I'm trying to pick, pick his brain. Like, first, he already drunk. I'm trying to pick his brain to... Like, what are you even talking about? Like, wait, 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 Hold on, DJ. Hold on, DJ. What are you even talking about? Okay, so this is the spiel, y'all. He told me all this when we was in the bathroom drunk at his friend place. He told me all this. He was like, oh, it was this girl that he used to work, that he work with. That he work with, girl. He see this girl every day. And it's not even like a girl that you choose to see every day. You have to see her every day. Like, like, uh, so it was some girl that he worked with. I don't know if he was into her. I don't know. But the way he made it seem like 
she came on to him, okay, and they had sex. And in the, in the, mind you, he stayed with his mama, okay. Let's just, let's just, he stayed with his mama, so I'm like, where y'all have sex at? Oh, we got a hotel room. A hotel room! A motel, a motel room. Chef, where my tea at? A whole motel. Not just playing. It probably was a motel. It probably was giving motel. It probably was giving real quick, a quick blood, you know, motel, girl. And then he proceeds to say, oh, it fell in my lap. It fell in your lap. It fell in your lap. <laughs> it fell in my lap. Oh, okay. Yeah, he said this. He said all of this while I was at his friend's house in his friend's bathroom. Confessed it all, girl. Drunk, throwing up on top of the toilet. He said that it fell in his lap. And then I could go deeper, honestly. And he told me. And it is just crazy. And I swear to God, y'all. I swear to God. This man proceeds to say, oh, she ain't want me like that. Um, She started talking to some other dude we work with. And she ain't really mess with me like that. And I just feel like, you know... Why would you do that to me? What? So, hold on. First of all, you trying to make... So, first of all, you tell me you cheated. Now you trying to make me feel bad because she stopped talking to you and started talking to... Start f***ing. Not talking, but f***ing. Like, you, he said verbatim that she is talking and f***ing with another co-worker in front of his face. And it's like, it's giving she lollygagging and she don't really mess with him like that. I promise y'all, this is the way he confessed it to me. Like, I know he was drunk, but it's like, girl, don't be trying to make me feel bad because she not fucking with you. It made me even feel more disgusted. Like, so you mean tell me you cheated on me with this girl that's 19? 19? You 27? You 26, 27? Cheated on me with a girl that's a teenager! A teenager! A teenager, y'all. She a teenager. She a, I know I'm a little girl, but no, she a whole teenager. You cheated on me with a 19-year-old. A 19-year-old. Like, you mean to tell me she 19? She ain't, you ain't fuck with her because she a grown ass and she ain't had she had her own. She a boss ass. Y'all going to the hotel, the motel to get it down. It's giving. Y'all ain't got no, like, y'all ain't got no house to go. Mind you, he stayed with his mama, so it's like, I couldn't even get it in at his house if I wanted to, because he stayed with his mama, but, anywho, he proceeds to make it, make it seem like he also feel bad because he cheated on me with a girl that's not really even f***ing with him like that. And she 19, and it just made me so disgusted. It really, I was so disgusted. Cause it's like, boy, come on now. Like I'm I first of all, I'm dating you. Okay. I'm I I don't even want to get cocky right now. But it's like I'm dating you and like you stay at home with your mama. Like I know times be hard, but baby, like, come on, like grow up. Do better a 19 year old. Cause she easy, huh? Cause she easy. I'm not gonna get mad. <laughs> this is and it's so funny because that whole night no literally okay so he confessed all this to me right he confessed all this to me in the bathroom okay i'm so cool calm and collected like i was so calm i went back to the living room and just sat there like i actually started like dancing <laughs> i don't know like i was not mad i wasn't mad i wasn't mad i was not mad because i know my worth and it's like he know my worth you know my worth, dude come on now like stop playing with me so um i feel like and also on top of that like i really could have showed my ass like, like i could have i could have act like the young woman my mama did not raise me to be baby because after the f 
fact, like the next day, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so much stuff I could have done to him. Drunk over the toilet telling me you drunk in front of your friends? It's your friends? I could have embarrassed him real, real bad, baby. Real, real bad. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna be embarrassed. No, I'm gonna embarrass you. I'm gonna show my embarrass you. But I stay cool, calm, and collected. The wholesome, godly, god fearing one man my mama raised me to be. I just stay calm. I stay calm. I went in the living room. I was like, y'all friend and they're drunk, you know, but he okay. And mind you, a lot of people started leaving. So um he kind of like fell asleep. And although I could have left, I don't know what it was because I could have left him and he could have just stayed the night at his friend's house. I don't know. I don't know what possessed me to drive this man back to my apartment. Mind you, he drove, I drove, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe at the time I'm still trying to do girlfriend duties and I drove him back to my apartment. We stayed the night here. I didn't say nothing. We woke up. We woke up the next day. I didn't say, y'all, I didn't. I say so cool, calm and collected that I like, girl, I. I was so calm. I was so freaking calm. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe that's just who I am. Like I don't I don't let people get a reaction out of me. Like I don't and if and it's not that I'm trying to I feel bad because he was drunk, but it's just like I'm not fair to beat you up when you drunk if I wouldn't beat you up in real life when you were sober. Cause me and him, we never played like that. Like I play like that. I put my hands on No, I'm just playing. I wouldn't do that. But yeah, I was just cool, calm, and collected. So I drove him back to my apartment. We stayed the night here, and um, I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. I let him sleep in the bed with me. I didn't say. I mean, we didn't cuddle or nothing. We didn't do all that. But I just let him stay the night. Let him sleep off his soberness. Cause I think I probably also wanted a sober confession as well. Like I definitely woke up the next morning and was like, "Do you remember what you told me last night? Do you remember?" And, you know, yeah, it was crazy. But, yeah, guys, that's the story that, that's the, that's my story time of my ex. She know me. Um, he cheated on me with a 19-year-old girl that he worked with. Like, I can't even be, we're not supposed to be jealous people, but come on now, like, y'all were there get a hotel room. Who paid for the hotel room? He gonna say she did. She paid, so she paid for the hotel room. She paid for the hotel room. Is she not even messing with you? Like, like, you wanted it that bad. You got a whole hotel room. Like, you really think, like, you really think, you really think. But I'm so over this situation, y'all. I'm just here to rant, talk about my life, um, events. And yeah, just give y'all a little tea on what be happening on me. All right, I'm just here to give y'all a little tea on what be happening on me. Okay, what be happening on me. But yeah, guys, that's the story time of my ex that cheated on me and confessed it while he was drunk throwing up. What? What, mama? Come on. I'm not gonna drop you. She's scared I'm gonna drop her. Come on. You gotta come to the edge. Ugh. But yeah, guys, that is my story rant of the time my ex cheated on me. It was um it was crazy. Like a whole 19 year old. It's the fact that you first, you drunk as a skunk, okay? You drunk as a skunk and you just sitting over this toilet like throwing up. Like a whole 19 year old girl, my, like it's just, it's just not giving.
so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this um story time i hope you guys enjoyed this story time i'm definitely gonna be getting into a lot of more tea because i i got a lot of tea to spill okay but i'm so reserved like i'm a very reserved person however i'm definitely 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 an open book like i'm an open book i don't have really much to hide quick quick um but yeah guys i really hope you guys enjoy my story time and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs> But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoy my story time. And my hair is so freaking cute. Like, I love this. This is so cute. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy my story time. And don't forget to give this video a like and a thumbs up, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to my video, my channel. Please subscribe, my lovey subbies. That's what I'm going to call y'all, my lovey subbies. Lovey subbies. I love y'all. Um, but yeah guys, I am about to get in the bed, honey. She got work in the morning and yeah guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!